Hello guys, it's me. I'm back with a new video. Once again, for some reason, this whole idea of canceling people because they think differently than you just will not go away. Last week, this girl got in trouble. Well, not girl, grown woman got in trouble. And I'll play the video, then I'll give my thoughts. Freshman GOP representative Marjorie Taylor Greene under fire from critics as an extremist promoter of baseless conspiracy theories. She suggested the Parkland and Sandy Hook school shootings were false flag operations and that the attacks of 9-11 were staged. She touted conspiracies from the fringe group QAnon and temporarily banned from Twitter for baselessly claiming the 2020 election was stolen. Then she recorded herself in this video confronting the Parkland shooting survivor David Hogg on the streets of D.C., accusing him of trying to take away her Second Amendment rights. Responding to the criticism in a statement, she wrote in part, over the years I've had teams of people manage my pages, many posts have been liked, many posts have been shared, some did not represent my views. As to her fringe views, Republicans know about them, and they gave her a committee position the House Education and Labor Committee. And now top Democrats are slamming the GOP, seeming indifference to Green's actions. Speaker Pelosi calling the appointment appalling. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez called the House Republicans white supremacist sympathizers. But in her Georgia congressional district, Representative Green ran unopposed and won by 50 points. NBC's Blaine Alexander in Rome, Georgia, on how her own constituents are reacting to her actions and rhetoric. Well, Chef, right now I'm here. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there because I don't care about all the other kind of stuff. But I'm gonna say this. <clears throat> Remember, I think it was last year, or maybe two years ago, maybe, when YouTube went through and purged all, pretty much all of their uh, conspiracy theory websites. I mean, sorry, not websites, videos. Uh, I know that Alex, Alex something or other, Alex Jones, uh, he got purged from YouTube and a couple of more people who spout all kinds of crazy stuff, they got purged as well. Now look, who cares what somebody posts on Facebook of their own personal views? I know people who think that 9-11 was done by the Jews just to get us involved in the terrorist wars. I know people who believe that the government bumped off John Kennedy as opposed to, uh, uh, what's his name? Oh gosh, I forget the guy's name. Uh, you know, there are people who believe that the earth is flat and not round. There are people who believe a lot of stuff that I may not agree with but who are you to kick off somebody from a committee just because they believe something different than you and who's to say that these so-called conspiracy theories are wrong why would you believe the government is telling you the truth on every single thing I don't believe that 9-11 was an inside job but what if it was why would I automatically think that the government is going to tell me the truth on every single thing. They won't. They won't. Do I believe Kennedy was bumped was an inside job? I don't know. I can't say that. Do I believe the Sandy Hook school shootings was an inside job? Personally, no. But I wouldn't kick somebody off of some, some committee just because they said they think that it was. If the government is going to tell you the truth. How about this? Why are we getting all sorts of conflicting numbers about, about COVID? How many COVID deaths? Why did the government lie about the whole uh, uh, the syphilis uh, project they had going on in Alabama back in, I think, the 50s, I believe. I think the 50s or 40s, if I'm not mistaken. The government will lie to you. 
not every not every official story is the right story the right answer you know so I don't know why they kicked this chick off of some committee well not her on screen but the Marjorie girl just because she had different views and as far as the election being stolen you can't say one way or the other to be truthful even though I agree it was stolen but how do we know because no court would hear it so how do we know a hundred percent we don't so because they wouldn't hear the evidence what's stopping anybody from saying that the election was stolen nothing all they can do is go off of what evidence that we saw during all those hearings and make their own uh, conclusions we saw a video of people with uh, ballot boxes hidden underneath a table you know they lied about some water main being burst and I, saw, I heard that the morning because uh, I got up around 1 or 2 o'clock the day after the election day and turned on the news to see what was going on and I heard a reporter say that and kind of find out they were lying so my thing is don't go remove somebody off of any platform just because you don't like what they say because you know what one day they're gonna come after you like I said before one day you're gonna be on the other end of the stick and then what what will you do then one day whatever you believe in that's going to be the bad thing to believe in so be careful when you go around promoting a censorship because one day you're going to be on the other end of that so I just wish this, this stuff would stop because I'm sick and tired of it alright guys till next time